Hi, my name is Melanie Ho and I'm a consultant from Professional Advantage and today I'm going to show you some of the new features in the General Ledger module within Microsoft Dynamics GP2013. The first feature is the Unit Account Urine option. In prior versions of Grey Plains, when you perform a GLU close, all unit accounts will have a brought forward balance in the next year. GP2013 gives you the ability to decide whether unit accounts will have brought forward balances or zero balances when performing a GL Euro close and that is by going to the unit account maintenance setup and whether you want to tick the clear balance during year in close tick box or not. The second feature is the additional options when performing a year in close. So I'll call up the year in closing window and what you'll notice is a maintaining active account tick box. In prior versions of Grey Plains, when you perform a GL urine close, the system will automatically remove inactive accounts with zero balances. In GP2013, you now have the option to maintain all inactive accounts or only inactive accounts with budget amounts. There's a status bar which will display the steps that are completed as the urine closing is performed. The next feature allows us to use the journal entry inquiry window to view posted journals in a closed financial year. So to do this I am going to go to my inquiry section, click on journal entry inquiry window and what you'll notice is there is a fiscal year field. If I click on the drop down it will display both open and closed financial years. In my journal entry field I can either type in the journal entry number or use the lookup. I am going to type in a journal entry number in one of my closed financial periods, which is 2014. And the full journal will be displayed. The last feature is the additional sub-ledgers that are available in the Reconcile to GL window. So I'm going to open up the Reconcile to GL window click on the Reconciliation Lookup and the existing modules are the Payables and Receivables module. In GP2013 they have extended this to the Inventory and the Bank Reconciliation module. I am going to show you how to set one up for the Bank Reconciliation module. Accept the reconciliation date, enter the From and To date range, change your module to Bank Reconciliation, select a checkbook ID, the GL account will automatically be populated. Select an output location and file name and click on save. You can also set one up for the inventory control. So the same process but your module will be inventory and you would now have to select your inventory accounts. Select an output and file location and save. I will now select my bank reconciliation and hit the process button and that should export the data into Excel. In the Excel spreadsheet you'll notice that some fields are in blue color. This allows us to click on the field and will open up a GP window. Depending on the field that you click on will determine what window will open. So for example, if I had to click on the journal entry number 1242, click on yes for the security notice and that will open up my journal entry inquiry window. If I click on the account number, that will open up the account maintenance window. You can only do this if you are also logged into GP. That was some of many new features in GP2013. If you would like to learn more about what GP2013 has to offer, please head to our website for more information and videos. Thank you.